everybody, this is Praxis. I'm here on site today with my dad, who is right back here, and we are working on getting purlins up on all of these roof rafters. We already did the west side, and now we're working on the east side. Again, we're jumping back and forth with our task whenever we kind of accomplish something, unless uh, it involves moving a bunch of things, you know, you're gonna have to move right back. Uh, we're kind of trying to just do the same task on both sides, so once we do the thinking for it, we can you know, just go wherever we need to go and do it all, and then it's done. We don't have to remember what we did earlier. What I'm working on right now while my dad is getting the, uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, working on the first purlin. Okay, so he's still working on the first purlin. Uh, and the purlins, by the way, uh, those are boards that run kind of horizontally across all of these rafters, and they tie them all together. Uh, so he's working on the top one over there, and I'm preparing the bottom to receive the bottom purlin, which we are going to do next. We do the top, bottom, then we're going to do the middle, and that'll uh, the middle one will allow us to kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm illustrating straightening a rafter with my hand here because not all of them are straight. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys is the use of a simple tool to accomplish uh, getting these straight at the end. Is, uh, you might be able to see this one is kind of cocked over. A lot of these boards are, have a little bit of a twist to them. Not a big deal uh, if you know how to deal with it. Uh, people oftentimes will get, um, you know, kind of fixated on having like, you know, the right saw or you know, like how many teeth do you have on your saw blade or do you have the right drill or are you 40 volts or are you 20 volts or like, you know, I can't believe that that's not the right number of volts for your drill. You know, people can get all caught up in the, you know, the exact right kind of tool, but sometimes just knowing simple tools can get an awful lot done and this is one of those times. I'm using this piece of scrap wood as a lever. I need to bend this board uh, where the top needs to go that way, bottom needs to kind of come back this way. So I'm going to screw it in just at the bottom, right here. All right. And what this allows me to do is now I've got a lever attached to this where I can uh, actuate it with my leg. So my leg is down there, I'm just kind of pulling it back towards me, and that twists this board very easily into being plumb, or at least plumb-ish. And plumb means, you know, straight up and down, vertical. All right, so I've got this where I want it. I'm guiding it with my hand up here. I got the drill ready to set these screws. My foot is putting tension down there, and I'm going to drop it in. That's one screw. Oh, there we go. So there we go. It's pretty much straight up and down vertical now. I got to do the other one on the other side and I'll use the same technique to just make sure that it's vertical using this lever to make sure that it, you know, butts right up against the other one. And then I tie the two together and they should be pretty straight and whatever is left, whatever fixing we still need to do, we can do when we're putting the purlins on there and we can pull them one way or the other to get them nice and, nice and plumb. That's what we're doing today. Thanks for watching.